This episode is sponsored by Amazon Games. I'm Kerry Stagmer, and we are the blacksmiths of Baltimore Knife and Sword. We're going to be building some of your favorite things and fantastic objects you've never seen before. This is Man at Arms, Reforged. We were very excited when Amazon Games contacted us about making a sword for the game Lost Ark. Then they sent over what they wanted us to build, the Berserker Sword. It is an absolutely massive, like monumental sculpture of a weapon. We're gonna have to do this in multiple episodes. It's, it's too much work to just concise into one Man-at-Arms episode. We're gonna do it in multiple parts. We'll show you how everything comes together. We'll be doing just about every process you can think of from the sculpting and the hammering, forging, repose work with these large lion heads that go in the center. We'll get the whole thing together, show you the finished product, and you'll be blown away. So in building a sword this big, we can't really approach it like a normal sword. We've got to think of it more as a kind of a monumental work of sculpture. What we've done is built this central backbone out of pipe it's going to have the rest of these frame pieces attached to it. We've broken it up into three sections at the front, the center, and the back. John's getting ready to put the second plates on the top, and then that will give us the whole framework that we can build the rest of the sword around. So we're cutting a series of back panels. They kind of are gonna sit on top of that pipe infrastructure that's gonna be the center of this piece. Um, it's so large, we have to make sure that it's structurally sound that it'll stand on its own. So this is actually the back panel where the lion's head will be. So the chin area is down about here and the whole face comes out and it's gonna protrude out six to eight inches on each side. Uh, and then of course there's the main body. But all the different panels that we're cutting, these are in 10 gauge steel, which is about an eighth of an inch thick, um, is going to give us a pretty strong structure underneath. And then we're going to be able to build the blades around the outside of that. And there's big spikes up on the ends. And Well, as soon as we have these plates laid out, you'll see what the entire piece is going to look like. All right, so I've sketched out the lion's head on this piece of sheet metal, and I'm going to draw it out on this one because we need to make two because Derek and I will be forming these into lion's heads. And first, we're gonna start with the press to start dishing out the shape. The depth of this has to be about six inches tall, so it's gonna be a lot of forging and chasing repose work on these sheets to get them to look like lion's heads. And we're gonna be going back and forth between different techniques to get the volume that we need. So this is the uh, major depth that we had to get with this. Uh, that's actually the most challenging bit. So now we can come in 
can start to refine these shapes and get more definition. So once we get the high relief formed, we're gonna get the nose in, which is the highest form of relief on here, and then we can get into the detail work. Now that we've got the structure for this sword ready, we need to actually make it into a sword, and that means bringing it to an edge. Uh, it's a little bit complicated to do because we've got such a thick section here. So we've got a sort of a top-down view of the, the shape of the pattern here, and Paul and I are gonna be laying out some cardboard and making patterns so we get all the material we need. And since the fact that this blade profile actually goes from about four and a half inches to two and a half inches, it gets even more complex as we have to twist and make the metal form in different ways. We have to cut it different ways to make that form actually come out. Now that we've done a whole bunch of arts and crafts between me and Decker, we started with this, which is our over top blade profile to see how far it would actually stick off the body of the sword. And then we made up this paper profile to actually figure out how much um, steel we needed to actually make the bevel of the blade. We gave that to Kerry and he got to cutting and he made us this. We chopped it in a couple of different pieces so it would be a little bit easier. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of space to move around with angles of steel and we wanted to make it a little easier ourselves. So what we're gonna do to make the blade profile, we're gonna take this sheet, this piece of quarter inch, there we go. This piece of quarter inch, we're gonna bevel it to that, and that'll give us a little bit more bite to our blade. Now Berserker from Lost Ark has a large illuminated panel in the center of the sword. We're going to create this from one inch plexiglass. I'll draw the patterns out, then we'll cut them out, sculpt the bevels, and we can illuminate this on the sword. So here I have the overlays for the top of the sword. The large jewel is gonna sit in between these. I have to go in now and grind all the bevels on these. I'm gonna start with the bottoms first, then I'm gonna do the tops after I fit them to the blade itself. Once they're fitted, then I'll go in and grind the bevels on this as well. Now that we've finished cutting and profiling the plexiglass pieces for the Berserker sword, we've finished the jewel edges. All these have been faceted. Final finish, we've begun bezeling the large centerpiece, which is very similar to grinding the edges of a sword, but in plexiglass. We'll get this finished up to the same fit and finish as the jewel pieces, so we can illuminate the Berserker sword. We're going to be making the pommel for the Berserker sword. Overall, a pretty complicated piece. We have these two pieces here, which I need to draw out of this inch and a quarter brown stock. We'll be drawing them out to a point, and I'll be using my template here to make these pieces match, and then we'll be overlaying other pieces over top. So we're going to get started. It's a bit of a job, but we'll get it done.
So you've seen the Berserker Sword from Lost Ark starting to come together. We just kind of have the size and some of the form, some of the underlying structure. When we get into the next episode, you'll see those pieces begin to come together. Ellen and Derek are gonna continue working on those lion's heads. They're gonna take an incredible amount of time to finish, but I am very happy with the way that's all coming together. Once the entire piece is assembled, those lion heads will go on just about last, and then we'll get into those big glowing jewels you see on the sides. Ferentz will have that ready for us before long. Make sure you come back and see the next episode as we begin to finish each of those structures and see how they fit together. Click here to subscribe or click here to see more episodes. Thanks for watching Man at Arms Reforged. We need to know what you want the team to build. Tell us in the comments below what you would like to see.